for grandparent thing is a counter to that is bullshit because that is stuff that happened in the schoolyard when we was kids. You're basing your racial analysis off of conversations that you had at recess. That makes sense. That makes sense. At your big age. Hi, my name is Queen. Welcome to the McVixen channel. If you're new here, hey boo. And if you're not new here, thanks for coming through. I appreciate you again. This might be a weird way to meet me because, yeah, this video is going to be a rant. I haven't really been engaging with social media too much. Definitely not on Twitter because of Ramadan. And that's actually been a great thing. But what it has allowed me to do is like think deeply about many things. And there's one particular topic that I seem to keep ruminated on and try to pray it away. I try to, you know, write in my journal and, you know, figure out ways to release this and it hasn't been enough. So I'm hoping that this is enough. What that is, is this whole race science stuff that is happening within the diaspora and how ridiculous and disrespectful it is to black Americans. Usually this is when I plug my Patreon and stuff, but I I really, I'm gonna really just get to it. I do wanna set the stage for this conversation. I'm learning that people listen more so with their emotions than they do with their ears. So I come from a background, a pan-African type background. All of my work is as diasporatical as I can make it be because I have a full understanding that black liberation is for all black people on this planet. And I don't look for ways to nitpick and stab at other black peoples in the diaspora relationships with colonialism and how they have carved their way in this white supremacist system and how we have figured out ways to exist in this fuck shit. I'm not Ado, so I'm not FB, whatever that other joint is that they be doing, I'm not with that shit. But what I do know is that I be damned that as dusty and funky as this country is, that I'm gonna let motherfuckers with different colonial experiences come here and tell us how we're supposed to react to our colonial existence, how we're supposed to exist, how we're supposed to be, and what the fuck black is when blackness was literally created for us motherfuckers, and then bled out into the rest of the world. There has been this ongoing conversation, I would say, on Twitter. This is not a conversation that I've ever had happen within Black people I'm in community with, Black people I'm in community with across the diaspora, but this is something that I've been introduced to online. So from my vantage point, it seems to be a Gen Z or a younger millennial or anyone who is not black of the Americas. And it is about who is black and who is not black. And it's ridiculous. The things that really make me upset about this whole idea is that I thought we all understood that race is a construct and that it was a construct created for the purpose of chattel slavery. And when it comes to the diasporic conversation, it is clear that we all have been affected by colonialism in very traumatic ways, but we've also been affected by the colonialism in very different ways. So the concept of blackness was created to subjugate the people of Africa who were coming to America's to be enslaved people. So the construct of blackness is essentially a construct of Americanness. And it upsets me that there are folks of the diaspora who not descendants of chattel slavery, but are insistent on determining what blackness is here in the United States. It's wild disrespectful. And the reasons why it's disrespectful is because one thing that I see happening over and over again is bringing up the one drop rule. That is the basis of the 
you are letting white supremacist systems determine what blackness is. No, we are not. Everything that black Americans do in this country is something that we have cultivated on our own. So because at some point blackness was determined by a white supremacist system, that does not mean that we have not self-determined to decide what blackness is here for us. And I'm tired, sick and tired of motherfuckers acting as if black Americans have not self-determined to identify ourselves because we have. My blackness is my race and also my ethnicity. And we are the only people on this planet that have that intersection. And it upsets me that one, I have to explain this, and that two, you don't see the anti-black Americanness in that. That you are telling us that centuries of what we call for ourselves here is not real and not valid. I don't understand, and maybe you can clarify for me in the comments, I don't understand what or how determining who is mixed race and who is fully black, I, for the life of me, do not know what that does for the liberation of the black people of the diaspora. I don't know what that does. How is that a utility for the liberation of black people? Now we can dismantle colorism. That's a very different conversation than a conversation about who is black and who is not, and who is mixed race, and who has four fucking black grandparents. Let me get to that. Let me get to that. Because that is, to me, one of the most insulting things that I hear from black people who are not American say. Right? Well, you know, put your hands in the air if all four of your grandparents are black. This is a rant, so I'm not going to have all the notations, quotations. I'm not going to have that. I'm going to have the bibliography for this video. But it wasn't until the... 70s, I believe, that legally black people and white people could have relations, which means that most mixed race or biracial people in this country have only recently consensually been conceived. So when you say who has four black grandparents, da, 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 you are dismissing the amount of that black women in this country have gone through and have conceived children from. One story that I um, recently found out, my family went on a trip to Senegal, beautiful country. My uncles, one of the elders in my family, told us a story about how my great uncle, so their uncle, how my family got to Harlem, you know, my family's from Harlem, but by way of North Carolina. And it was that my uncle decided that he wasn't gonna cross the street when white people were walking down the street and he did not cross the street. And because of that, he was gonna be hung. And what my great-grandmother or great-great-grandmother did was the sheriff said he will hold off the Klan for a day so that my great-uncle could leave. And what she had to do to hold him off was have relations with him, which obviously is not consensual. So for me to know that for my family to get from North Carolina to Harlem, for me to exist, someone in my family had to be by a white person and conceived a child. That was in the 1920s, not that long ago. And y'all think that's funny. And y'all think that's something worth throwing in people's faces. It's disgusting and it is disrespectful to my direct ancestors. The other thing that really makes me upset about that is the weird race science that y'all do with that. First of all, there is no genetic way to determine race because race is a construct. And when you take those DNA tests or whatever, they're not determining whether you're black, white, they're determining what region of the world your DNA is concentrated in. You don't get those tests back and they say black, white, because that stuff is not actual. There is no way to quantify race. That's not how that works. So your four grandparents, it's, it's ridiculous. And it's a spit in the face to the nuanced and varied existence of black people here. It's a slap in the face to the nuanced and varied existence of how black people here have cultivated culture and black existence 
for ourselves. How dare you? And you know, excuse me, my thoughts are everywhere. I'm just, I just really had to get this off my chest. I just really had to get this out. But it's interesting to me when for grandparent conversation comes up and the counter is, well, we're just saying that because black people have always tried to, you know, say that they are, you know, have Indian in their family or this and this and that or blah, blah, blah. Don't act like you have never in some form of fashion that you have never as a black person had an instance where you tried to have some kind of proximity to whiteness because you knew that makes your life easier. Be it with how you talk or how you dress or how you go about education or how you go about life in other ways, not just race. That is not something unique to the black American experience where as you go through your journey on blackness that you have these little hiccups of anti-blackness. That is something that we all experience. And to say that the four grandparent thing is a counter to that is bullshit because that is stuff that happened in the schoolyard when we was kids. You're basing your racial analysis off of conversations that you had at recess. That makes sense. That makes sense. At your big age. Like, let's not. Let's not act like the colonial experience of a black American is very different, okay? From enslavement and still living in the same place as your oppressor, where you are not the majority. Our experience is different. I need y'all to stop playing in our face. Stop being anti-black. It's anti-black when you do that. It's anti-black when you do not allow us to self-determine who the fuck we are. We know who we are. We know who's black. We know who's not. That's for us to determine. Not somebody with a, a different colonial experience. And if you say you respect us and you respect our culture, then you need to respect the nuances that we have with race. And prioritize dismantling colorism. Because if colorism doesn't exist, guess what? A mixed race, light skin, biracial bitch don't matter. So yeah, I just had to get that off my chest. I, I'm, just, I'm just really annoyed and disappointed and I want us to do better. And I've kind of been avoiding this conversation for a long time because diaspora world is not my thing. But I sat with myself and realized that within this conversation, I am being harmed because I am being told that the existence that black people in this country cultivated for themselves is not it. And how is that not a white supremacist tool to assume that all black Americans experiences is something that is done to us as if we've had absolutely no choice in our own identity. That's not true. And that's fucked up that that's what y'all do with that, especially with that one drop bullshit. Cut it out. So that's all I got. I feel like I still have more thoughts on this, but this was just me turning on the camera, getting out thoughts I had. I had to get these out. I couldn't even go to sleep before I got these out. So yeah, subscribe to the channel if you're new here. I have other videos that I plan to do this month. I just had to get this off my chest. Since I'm not on Twitter right now, I figured I'd just make a video and get it out. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. As always, you're enough. You're a bad bitch and I will see you in the next one.